You can learn a lot about a girl from her underwear, which is to say you can learn a lot about how lace thongs resemble a noose, holding at the throat like a vice, suffocating in the bad habits of one-sided sensuality, just look beautiful while it's happening. Not a hair out of place, not a drop of sweat, do not drop your chin or your arch, there is no such thing as cracking under pressure. You are a toy that has never left its box. No wear and tear unless you are the one wearing and he is the one tearing. We are taught that body language is the only way we speak and regardless, we have no say in the bedroom. You can learn a lot about me from my panty drawer. It is the story of a girl who used push-up bras to protect her heart. A girl who ate pineapple even though she hated it. A girl who hated waxing and willingly burned at the stake of her own obedience. A girl who spoke with lace and wrote in big glittery letters. Her message wasn't stuck in a bottle but in an hourglass figure. She is the definition of sex appeal. The one that the boys like the one that knows what she is doing, and there is an adrenaline rush going into this with a laced buckle, like shackles ready to shatter, but there is no prison break or great escape. No, there is no escaping what is this body and what they want this body to be. My panty drawer is the idea that my reflection isn't worth attention when I have clothes on. My panty drawer creates a fallen angel out of a deer in headlights and hides the collision. Why am I only beautiful when I can be touched? when I can fall into the grave of your bed, when my nails match my panties, why am I only beautiful as a fantasy, as a dream you'll wake up from, the girl who won't be there in the morning, this is what you want, no evidence of me, not a hair out of place, not a drop of sweat, just a noose lying on the bedroom floor. <laughs>